In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Avalanche network to a MetaMask wallet. Plus, I'll also show you options for bridging your tokens and getting your AVAX across to your MetaMask wallet. It's becoming increasingly frustrating using the Ethereum network due to the sky high fees. However, you can reduce these ETH gas fees by avoiding the Ethereum network altogether and connecting to alternative blockchains such as the likes of Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. Before you start using these alternative networks, you will need to connect to a supported wallet. And one of the most popular wallets is Metamask, where you could also connect to the likes of a Ledger or a Trezor hardware wallet. An Avalanche claims to be a faster, cheaper and a more secure blockchain than Ethereum. Avalanche or AVAX is a blockchain platform that launched in 2020 by the AVA Labs team in the US. Offering fast transaction speeds at low cost, plus it's open source and allows the building of decentralized applications which are also known as dApps. Avalanche differs from other networks with its unique approach using three separate blockchains in its platform. And these are Xchain, C chain and P chain. The X chain is their exchange chain for creating and exchanging AVAX tokens and other digital assets. Fees are paid in their AVAX token, similar to how you would pay for ETH on the Ethereum network or BNB on the Binance smart chain. Then they have the C chain, their contract chain, where essentially developers create smart contracts for dApps. Then finally, there's the P chain or platform chain, which coordinates the network validators, tracks active subnets, and allows for the creation of new subnets. Now, because each blockchain does have a different function, this helps to improve the speed and the scalability of Avalanche. And their own AVAX token is what brings all of the blockchains together. AVAX has a cap supply of 720 million, and these can be staked to validate the network, used for transaction fees, and used as a unit for all of the subnets. So how can we start using AVAX tokens in our MetaMask wallet? and connect to dApps on the Avalanche network. Well, I'm going to show you this all now, and I'll also have a timeline in the summary below so that you can jump to specific parts of the tutorial if you wish. And this is under the assumption that you already have a MetaMask wallet installed. If you don't, I do have a full tutorial showing you how to set that up in further detail, but I'll run you through this really quickly. So I'm going to install this on Brave Browser. And MetaMask can also be downloaded on the likes of Chrome, Firefox or iOS and Android if you're a mobile user. I'm going to go ahead and install MetaMask for Brave. And then if I add to Brave and confirm I want to add the extension. So once you've added MetaMask to your browser, you can get started. And you'll be prompted to either import a wallet or create a new one. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new one now. And then you can agree or decline for them to gather usage data. Then you'll need to create a password and confirm and agree to the terms of use here. You'll then be prompted to write down your secret backup phrase, which you'll need to keep somewhere safe, as if someone gains access to these words, they will have complete control over your crypto. And this is used to back up and restore your account. Once you've written down all of those words, you'll also be prompted to confirm the words and place them in the correct order. Now these private keys have been exposed, and for that reason, I won't actually be using this wallet, but I wanted to show you this as an example. And that's my wallet now created. Now, I don't personally recommend keeping crypto or definitely not large amounts on MetaMask. I simply use mine as a portal to my Ledger or my Trezor hardware wallets, which is the safest way to keep your crypto. They also have a lot of promotions running, which may differ depending on the time that you're watching this video. So it's worth checking out our deals and promotions page over on everybithelps.co.uk. And if we click onto the top right circle, in here you can connect MetaMask to your hardware wallets. When you first install MetaMask, the first thing you'll see is that we're currently looking at an Ethereum wallet and we're connected to the Ethereum mainnet. And this won't work with Avalanche dApps. Worse still, you could potentially lose funds by sending them to addresses that you can't actually use. So we need to point our MetaMask wallet to the Avalanche network now. So if we click onto the circle icon in the top right again and head down to settings. From here, we need to go to networks on the left hand side of the screen. Then choose add network. 
and this is so we can manually add the Avalanche network, as unfortunately it doesn't come with MetaMask. And you'll then need to add all of the network details now. You'll find all of these details over on our blog post that you can simply copy and paste. So I'm just going to go away and copy and paste all of that information now. And once you've completed all of that, you can then save at the bottom of the screen. Then once you've saved the network, if we head back to the main view by clicking onto the X, you'll notice two things. First, that the network has automatically been set to the Avalanche network that we've just added. Also that the units are no longer showing in ETH, but AVAX instead. If you want to go back to the Ethereum mainnet, you can simply click onto where it says Avalanche network, and you can toggle between the different networks. When you have the Avalanche network connected to MetaMask, you'll either need to bridge your tokens across to the Avalanche network. However, just be aware that this will cost in gas fees, which will be in ETH, and these can be high depending on the time you're watching this video. And I'm going to show you that process now, plus an option of how to withdraw from the likes of the Binance Exchange. To bridge your tokens from Ethereum to the Avalanche network, you can head across to bridge.avax.network. And from here, you'll need to connect up your MetaMask wallet, which has some Ethereum tokens in. Then select the token that you want to bridge, which can be any Ethereum or ERC20 token. Another way to bridge your tokens is using something like Seabridge. So if you have your tokens on Ethereum, Arbitrum or the Binance Smart Chain, for example, you can bridge to Avalanche so that you're not restricted to bridging from just one network. However, the easiest way that I personally use is buying and withdrawing from the likes of the Binance Exchange, if you can get access to it. And I'll show you how to do this now. If you don't already have a Binance account, I've got a link in the summary that will get you 20% off your trading fees, plus up to a $50 bonus. So I have some AVAX over on the Binance Exchange that I'm going to withdraw and send across to this wallet. And I'll need to copy my MetaMask wallet address now by clicking onto the address that is appearing under my account at the top here. Then from the withdrawal screen for AVAX on Binance, we'll need to paste in our MetaMask address into the recipient address. Under the network dropdown, there are two networks that are available, which are either Binance Smart Chain or AVAX C Chain. Now, if you do choose the wrong network and accidentally choose the Binance Smart Chain instead, it can be a bit tricky, as you'll need to add the Binance Smart Chain to MetaMask and send them back. So you will want to make sure that you get the right network here, which is AVAX C. And there's a minimum amount of 0.4 AVAX, which at the time of this recording is around $40. I'm going to withdraw one AVAX now, and just be aware that you'll need to pay your fees here too. If I submit my withdrawal, and head back to my MetaMask wallet. As you can see, that's now transferred, which went through really fast. If I want to view the transaction, I can head across to the Explorer, and view all of the details, showing that that transaction is confirmed. So now that I'm connected to the Avalanche network, and I have some funds in my wallet, I can now use that balance to use DeFi applications such as Trader Joe. Then all I need to do is simply connect up my MetaMask wallet and I could then swap my tokens at lower fees than using the likes of the Ethereum network. If you want to stake your tokens, you'll need an Avalanche wallet instead which is separate from your MetaMask wallet and I'll show you that in a separate tutorial. But that's how you connect the Avalanche network to your MetaMask wallet. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today, and if you did then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.